Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 20th, 2020. April, oh yeah, stop it y'all. Okay, April 20th, 2020, okay? <laughs> so today we have love and this is a wonderful card. This is what is coming through. This is what I want to give you, okay? So from the moment you wake up, Okay, well, you probably watch this and then you'll figure it out, right? But, you know, <laughs> whenever you see this, get into the heart space, get into the frequency of love. Now, a lot of people might say, I'm, no, I'm not into that right now, Michelle. I am terrified. People are sick or, you know, God forbid if someone you know is sick or maybe you are sick and, oh my goodness, talk about love. Darling, I am sending you all so much love. And I want to, maybe I can just take this moment now too to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you send me. It means the world to me. Now, I'm getting the feeling here that some people, they're saying love gets abused. Love gets abused. Again, we're in very rocky times right now. The energy is going to be all over the place. Yes? And people will say when someone is being cruel to another person or bullying or they're reacting out of narcissistic injury uh, and trying to verbally abuse someone. Oh, that person just needs love. Okay, uh, you're not wrong. It's just, where do we draw a line? What we're talking about here is that you need to be in the space of love and you can ask love to go all over the world. I do it every night in my prayers. But if someone doesn't choose to engage the love, if they're giving in to their hurt and their pain and their anger and they think they have the right to harm another, then step back. There's not anything. Now, don't step back from the people. If you see people getting abused, you don't step back from that. You love those people and help them. And when the person that's giving into and feeding darkness within them and they're not balanced, if ever they are willing and ready to accept love, then be on the ready to offer it. You know, just leave it out there. Well, it's here for when you want it, right? There's a very big, strong message coming through for us. Yes, we want to be in that love space. Yes, we don't want to be fed upon we were talking about how we have some of that darkness within our cells. And if we feed it, it becomes disease. Or if we feed it into the collective, it becomes a collective disease. Or a social ill, where we become so ingrained, right, about what's okay to do. Perfect example of that would be the senior photo thing going around on Facebook. I was amazed. My first thought, I said this before, but I'll say it again. My first thought was, okay, this is about you, whoever posted this photo. <laughs> now, I don't think that all the people who gave into that and posted a senior photo, I don't think they're bad or self-centered. But that's an example of how this conditioning goes out into the collective. And without, because we, we get punished if we go against the grain. We get punished if we question things one way or another, right? So people are just in the flow of that conditioning. And I'll tell you, I noticed it right away, but I was scared. I'll admit it. I was scared to go, how is this helpful for the 2020 seniors? I love you all so much. And a little message to y'all, this is a digression within a digression. <laughs> I love the seniors of 2020. You guys are amazing. And whether you get to walk across the stage or not, we see you. We know what you've done. We know your accomplishments, okay? So don't worry about it. It's all good. And actually, you're going to have one heck of a story one day. <laughs> you're going to be able to look back and be like, wow, man, we are survivors. And hopefully, you'll be able to look back and go, that was the year the whole world changed for the better. Didn't seem like it in the moment, but it got us here. Hopefully, hopefully. But going back to the Facebook example, that was probably begun by someone who maybe, I, I'm not going to sit here and say they had bad intentions. I don't know what their intentions were. 
but it was, it's very me focused, isn't it? How the heck does you posting your senior photo from whenever supportive of other seniors who can't have that same option, right? So that is just, that's an example of, the, like I was saying, that conditioning where we end up kind of, um, it, it's sort of like getting, they're saying getting caught up in a riptide and getting carried away. And when somebody says, hey, that's probably not the nicest thing to do, people get upset. Because why? Because they feel guilty. Remember the love, okay? We're not, the message here is not that you are selfish or terrible or anything like that. But we want you to wake up. This is part of waking up. And maybe not in a sense of rebellion necessarily. Remember, it's all about balancing. It's all about balancing. But approaching things with love. When we approach things with love, when we come from that filter, you're going to suddenly go, hey, maybe this isn't the most loving thing to participate in for the seniors of 2020. Hey, you know what? Maybe my neighbor really is frightened right now of getting sick and maybe I should check on them, you know, from a distance. <laughs> Use the phone. You know, this is, this is what we're talking about here. You're going to start making different choices when you come from a space of love. Now, a lot of people out there, we hear love and we're like romantic love. And isn't it an amazing thing when you are balanced and engaging in a pure love relationship? It's the most amazing thing. It's what we're here for in part <laughs> is to love and be loved. When you leave this body, a big indicator of how successful, again, these are human terms, forgive the human terms here, but, you know, looking back and, and wondering if you had a life well lived, how much did you love? I'm going to love on that dog that's outside. <laughs> I'm going to send love to that dog that is barking. I'm going to send love to the person walking that dog. There he is again. I was like, oh, and then it got silent. No, <laughs> he started barking again. But do you see what I'm saying here? It's imperative that we start, first of all, thinking for ourselves. And whether you feel like you can make decisions from a certain standpoint or not, you know, you just, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be okay. But we we're talking about romantic love. Sorry, we'll get back to that. So romantic love, I'm going to tell you, I just saw 86. 86. So you take that as you will. But um, 86, I want to say like maybe 86% of the population um, experiences love and love partnership in the old way. And, and I'm not even sure what they mean by the old way here necessarily. But yeah, the, the old way feels like, well, this is what I'm supposed to do. And this person seems interested and seems like they want to have a relationship. So <laughs> that dog out there. <laughs> so let me just explore this. And then it's like, okay, I, I like you too. Okay. And then you get into a love partnership and you let it grow the way that it will. But they're saying there's a reason why a lot of relationships in the old way, again, we'll have to see if more messaging comes up around what the old way is, but um, the old way of approaching relationships. Yes. They're saying uh, the old, yeah, hold on a second here. Yeah, social social pressure, mm -hmm. a pressure to come together, uh, to start a family, to have children, and all these things. And what ends up happening is we have people who um, they didn't give themselves maybe enough of a chance to explore who they are, and so they enter in to a partnership, maybe even a marriage, as they are, right? And they you can still grow. Of course, you can grow in a relationship. That's a beautiful thing. But sometimes they're showing me that sometimes it's going to be a long message because they're really going for it here. Sometimes people don't, um, they don't stay true to themselves within a relationship. Yes. So they end up growing into the version their partner wants them to be. And then, then we have a break. And it usually happens around the age of 42 or so, which, you know, seems like that's, what we're still calling middle age, sort of, but it's not really. The new middle age will be 60. Let me say that again. The new middle age will be 60. Very soon. Very soon. 
So that's why we see people going through divorces. This is why we see the children that were had, not because maybe the parents necessarily want to have kids, but because, or maybe they weren't ready at that time to have kids, right? But rather they felt pressured to do so. Oh, I want grandbabies. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ah, careful. Careful, careful. I mean, who doesn't want babies around? Babies are amazing. But, <laughs> but we have to give our individual energies a chance to thrive and then connect. And then when the timing is right and the flow is right to let, if, if you want to have kids, let the kids happen. Does that make sense? I know I'm trying to like, it's still already 10 minutes into this video, but, or 10 minutes into, <laughs> into the message here. Because technically, I guess this is a photo that I have up. But what I'm getting at here is that this now new way, we're going to find a lot of people being single and staying single. We're going to uh, see people going through a rough patch with the self-love. I think people are going to overcorrect. And we're going to see this surge of, again, me, me, me. No, I'm going to do what I want to do. But this has a different shade about it. Um, this is more about... People trying to collect up energy that they have slowly been leaking and losing for decades. Yes. And so they are going to go, no, I'm not going to just do whatever everybody tells me to. I'm going to. And so it might come off a little harsh at first. But that will even out and that will get corrected. Okay. So don't worry about that too much. But when people do decide to come back together, it is going to be because there is a true heart connection which some of you out there already get to experience, right? Uh, and there will be a natural loyalty there. Whatever kind of relationship it needs to be, relationships can look many different ways. But there's going to be a mutual understanding. They're giving me the example of um, people who might, and I'm not talking exactly to people out there who are listening to this, who have been married for 40, 50 years, okay? I'm not necessarily <laughs> saying that there's something wrong with your relationship, so please let's not get defensive in the comments. But the example they're giving is a couple, a generic couple that doesn't really exist, okay? Except in this example, uh, that have been together for 40, 50 years. And if you ask them, you know, so how have you stayed together for so long? Maybe the woman says, well, I turned my head. What do you mean? Well, back in 1972, he had an affair. And women could do this too, obviously. But let's just say, for our purposes here, he had an affair in 1972. And she had a hard decision to make to save the marriage or to go her separate way. And she decided to stay. And, you know, I mean, again... You decide what's right for you, and only the person in the situation knows what is right for them. But I'm, I think they're using that, what we're getting at here, they're using that as an example of the old way. You won't have to do that anymore. It's weird, right? Um, I'm, I'm just as intrigued maybe as you guys are, <laughs> if you're intrigued at all by this message, because now there's this feeling of, yeah, solitude, solidarity. Uh, you know, where we're finding ourselves and then finding who we authentically can be combined with, who shares our values, and then people start partnering up in that way. Now, it does go, people will be making very distinct choices as options become available. <laughs> Comment down below if you have any idea what I'm alluding to right there. But I think what we're getting at here is that there's, when people do choose to partner off, um, compromise, of course, we're still learning, we're still growing, we're not going to be, you know, completely different human beings overnight, but there will be a more authentic intention behind it, because more of our soul self is coming up to the surface. Does that make sense? So with that more authentic soul self coming up to the surface, and we're coming through a heart perspective, a love perspective, it changes everything. And we start to make different choices. So we are going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.